This is my problem with an all black outfit. First off, as you can see, if you're a dog owner, you would understand. And you could blame this one for that. It's also much harder to create a tasteful fit. Like as you can see, I kind of look like a silhouette. And also, almost nobody wears purely all black. So if you really think about it, all black is much more advanced than you think. You've got to think about layering, textures, the heat. So here is my favorite color blocking technique. Grayscale. Try to put together a fit where everything, including your jewelry, stays in that grayscale spectrum of black, gray, and white. One trick that I've been using for years is to steal color combos from sports teams. But here's how you make it your own. Tone down the colors to your comfort level. I literally stole this color combo from a vintage Lakers jersey and just swapped the royal blue for navy. And this combo ain't nothing but a Seahawks uniform. Just start with something small, like your shoes. This outfit has the same color ratio as this Liverpool jersey. These multi-billion dollar sports franchises literally hire design teams to figure this stuff out. So why should you have to? Here's the best style tip I've ever heard. It's called the LMD trick. Here's how it works. Great outfits consist of three tones, a light, medium, and dark tone. Just like here, light, medium, and dark. Have only two, and it's like eating a pizza with just cheese and dough. Cool thing is, it doesn't matter where your light, medium, and dark are. You could have on medium chinos, a dark t-shirt, and then a light jacket. Try it out next time you're getting dressed. The secret to looking great every single day is an outfit lookbook. This lookbook contains every single outfit that will work perfectly for my client. I start by photographing and digitizing my client's new and existing pieces. And then like magic, my client has a plethora of outfits that he can reach for all summer long. This client in particular is a lawyer who goes away to the Hamptons and Sag Harbor on the weekends. So whether he's going out to dinner or spending time with his partner, all he has to do is pull up the outfit lookbook on his phone, zoom into the outfit that he's interested in, and then pull the pieces from his closet. It makes it so easy. Here's everything I wish someone had told me about developing style. When adopting a new, more polished look, you will feel overdressed. Since 90% of men put in zero effort into their appearance, doing so will make you stand out. But the more you wear and experiment with your new pieces, the more confident and comfortable you'll feel taking up space. I don't believe personal style should have an end goal because it's a constantly evolving aspect of your identity. Naturally, as you grow and change over time, your personal style will also evolve and adapt. It's about finding a balance between what's authentic and comfortable for you and what reflects your unique tastes and values. The term flattering refers to any style or piece of clothing that enhances the wearer's body in a pleasing manner. And while there are certain shapes and silhouettes that are pleasing to the eye, what you feel best in trumps everything else. This term is based on personal preferences and individual differences and is not one size fits all. When you recognize someone out in the wild who you deem stylish, it's probably because every single detail is thoughtfully considered. 
While throwing on whatever might produce a quality outfit by accident, it is your conscious decision about how you want to express and present yourself that's the key to being perceived as stylish or not.